Welcome to Adobe Creative Cloud users. And this also might be for people looking to want to use Creative Cloud, just wanting to find out more about some of the applications. If you have an Apple or an iOS, you're going to be able to find the manager at the top. You can update, you can download. If you also go through your applications folder after downloading the Creative Cloud, you can find the manager that way. After having the manager, you can download different applications. Right now, I'm working with Adobe Premiere Pro. As you can see, I've already imported two files. You can import files by going to File with a drop down and clicking on Import. You can also do Command I. You're going to be able to select the file that you want to work with, .mov, .mp4. I've already selected the files I want to work with. Now, the next thing you want to do is move them into your workspace. By moving them into your workspace, you drag and drop. And when I say drag and drop, you hover over the icon or the thumbnail for the image that you're wanting to work with. You click and hold down on the image or the thumbnail and you move it into the workspace. After you've moved one of them into the workspace, you're going to notice the length of the time match up with the time frame above. You're going to drag and drop again. And this way you're moving them into sequence also. If you want to have the first opening movie file be in the front, and the second one be at the second, just drag and drop them into that um, timeline. A next, uh, quick next thing I'm going to show you before we export, uh, this is an effects tab. You can see the demo has the files that we brought in. The effects is going to have us give us video effects, video transitions. With the transitions, I'm going to add a dissolve real quick. We can add a cross dissolve. Even though it says that, I I still, we can, I'll show you in a second how it will work perfectly fine. At the end, I'm going to add a um, dip to black. I am going to do a little editing real quick. You're going to be able to see if you move the cursor to where you want to do an edit, and then you select that portion, you're going to be able to move the edit. Let's say I didn't want that first section in there. I can move that over drop it in and then now reapply that cross dissolve works fine I'm gonna be able to preview it real quick welcome and hello everyone my name is Matthew McGuire alright looking good we can check to see if the end needs to do any editing probably a little bit there once we have it edited at the front and the back, so we don't have any unnecessary pieces of the uh, video. To move next to the next step in your video production skills. Excellent. So it's looking fine. The video is ready to go. We can go File, Export, Media. Once we have the media ready to go, that was quick. I probably could have done a little bit more work to my audio, maybe some to my uh, my lighting. Just want to give you the quick rundown on how to do a quick video. So we imported it. We did a quick edit to it. Now we're going to export the video file. Simple as that. What I do want to note real quick, we have a preset here at 1080, uh, almost 30 frames per second. You can change that preset. You can change the format. You can change your output name. You're able to, I, I use the H.264. Uh, works fine. Uh, width and height, I if I could, I would go back and change my quality of the video. That's a preset there to 100. Since this is a demo video, um, that 10% in quality is not going to be a big, um, big importance. So we're just going to leave that there. It's going to take about two more minutes to export. After we have it exported, we're going to upload it to YouTube. And we're going to keep these videos going. We're going to show you more tips and professional skills on how to make your uh, video editing skills. And we're also going to show how to do a little bit more for uh, web production as well. Working on a video, you want to be able to have a beautiful uh, piece of film. But you also want to be able to market it well on the web. So I, not only do I want to help show you how to do a great video, I would also like to love show you how to do great web production as well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, stay tuned. This is going to wrap up, and we're going to see it later on the web, so stay tuned.